they took my dad and we all followed up. We were running after them and we went through the court, through the front courtyard and past the fan. Uh, there was a, either a wall or a fence there, I can't remember, but we went past and we were all in the street and they made us they finally, the Gestapo turned to us and made us motion us to stay still, you know, not to follow anymore. And so my mother just stopped all of us and we were all, I we met, the way it looks in my, in my head is that we were all in a line and I was, I was crying, you know, I was crying and the Gestapo came back to me and put his finger in my, you know, like this, and he says, "You stop crying because if you if you si tu pleures encore, je prends ta maman. You know, I won't. I'm gonna take your mother. If you don't quit crying this minute, I'm gonna take your mother." And I remember stopping immediately. And uh, we watched him going. We watched him going. Did you get to say anything to your father? He was in between those two people. Pardon me. Did you get to say anything to your father? Oh, I, I just would call him, you know, Papa, Papa, you know. But he, you know, he, he hugged us all and before going. She hugged both of us a lot and she told me to be good, you know. And uh, she told me, someday I will come back, you know, I'm, I'm going to be back, you know. She told me, je, je reviendrai, je reviendrai, sois sage, je reviendrai. What did you, you know. say to her? And, well, I, I don't remember saying anything. I just couldn't believe that she was leaving me. You know, I couldn't believe she would do that. I couldn't believe she would leave me. So I just kind of, I, I remember being quiet at that moment, but I, I remember watching her and it looked like in a fog, you know, and I could see the side of the building, you know, around us. And I remember her just, kind of disappearing in the street. Maybe she just disappeared around the corner or what, but to me, in my recollection, now it was just like she's just plain disappears, you know? She's walking away and she disappears. And then I started calling her. And the lady told me that, you know, in a very nice way, you know, the gentle way to, that I should be quiet, that, you know, that it, I was going to be all right or what, but to me, my, my life was over <laughs> because, I mean, I still miss her, this wonderful woman, you know. She never left me in spirit, you know. She never left me. And for years, years, years after the war was over, I still was hoping that she would, you know, that she was alive that she, she would show up, we would find her all, you know.